So I want to give you, um, I wanted to do a video of how we got from Texas to Henderson Beach State Park and kind of what it was along the way, um, little snippets of what we do to make even the journey fun. One thing we learned the first time we went on a long trip is we were budgeting our time and how long we could go in a day um, as if we were driving in a car. So we were like, oh yeah, we can drive eight hours a day. No, don't do that. 10 hours the next day. That'd be perfectly fine in a minivan, but with the trailer, oh my goodness. It was too hard and yeah. <laughs> we recommend you to do maybe three hours, four hours, five hours a max, yeah. but don't do more than five hours. Like what if what it says in Google Maps or whatever, like if it GPS says five hours, using. It usually we figured out it adds it's about 30 40 percent 30 percent more time so if it if it says six hours it'll probably be more like nine but um, so that's that's long yeah and also it, because you have to go uh, slow speed uh, mm -hmm. I mean like you you I don't like to go more than 65 miles per hour and you have to stop more frequently for gas but it's, it's just changed the way we plan trips so we try to go three or four hours a day find a fun campground that we can stop along the way, make memories the whole time. Yes. And so I'm gonna show you some different videos and clips of our journey from Texas to Henderson Beach State Park here in Destin, Florida. And um, hopefully it will be enjoyable for you. Good morning. I'm going to document our family of sixes trip to Florida. So today, we're headed to Mississippi, but yesterday we uh, stopped at a small, I'll turn this way to see, a small little RV park um, off of 20 because we just needed somewhere to stay for the night. It had a pool and it was inexpensive and right off the highway, so we decided to stay here. We have a 17 foot trailer, six people in our family, and two dogs. Louisiana. Breakfast in the camper. Gotta get the dogs. Oh. This morning we're packing up and getting ready to head to our next stop. You see the kids' swimsuits hanging. They had fun all afternoon in the pool. And we're quickly, we didn't even unhitch last night. We just kept everything hitched up. We'll just lift it and load up in our Pathfinder and head out to the next stop. We just got into our spot here in Mississippi. We're at Delo Water Park. It's um, on the river. And that's a good thing. That's not the river. That's some kind of a murky, swampy pond. But it is so hot and humid here. It's unbelievable. Um, it is the end of June. And we have a little cat visitor that is driving our dogs nuts. That's why the no. dogs are being no. taken for a walk right now. She's no. just coming here and laying on the cement, tempting our dogs. But anyway, this is the second step no, no, in our journey. Water. Tomorrow we will take a five hour drive and finally get to Destin. There's a cute little playground. Actually, there's about three of them. I guess this would be considered the woods of Mississippi. Somewhere we never would have come unless we needed a stopping point in between our house and Destin. So we're getting to see different parts of the country that we never would have. Otherwise, it's very quaint. A little campground and we'll see what the river's like. Here we are headed to the water, clown headed face. to the river with clown faces. That new spray sunblock I got. It's a little bit interesting. It's a cute bridge. We'll see what we find. Oh, here in Mississippi at Delo Water Park. Here we are down at the river. It turned out to be pretty nice. 
not bad for a $30 one night stay on our way to our final destination. Another morning on our journey. We just woke up. The boys sleep under here. We've already put some stuff there. The um, gate, the dogs, well, one of the dogs, the big dog sleep, sleeps under there and we have that little gate and our dirty clothes hamper. I'm making space right here because we're, it's a travel day and uh, when we travel, we take those four drawers out, stick them on the bed and lay the frame flat so nothing happens, but we're getting up early. We wanna get an early start, making coffee, making a quick breakfast. So yes, there's a cat outside at this spot that is kind of forcing us inside too. It's making the dogs bark and it wanted to climb on our screen door. Anyway, we want to get to Florida early, so we'll hit the road in about probably 30 minutes. Here we are crossing the toll bridge to get to Destin. Super excited, we're finally close to the beach after two days of traveling, starting in Texas, one night in Shreveport, Louisiana, one night in Mississippi. Wow, we're finally here. Are you guys excited? Six of us here in the car. We have one dog crate for our bigger dog, and this is where Cody rides right here. So, we just arrived at our campsite here in Florida at Henderson Beach State Park. It's a cute little um, secluded private little area, and so now we get started on setting everything up, hooking everything up. It's definitely hot here. Good thing we're by the beach. Good job, Gabe. You getting the other side, Ian? Okay, gotta level this out, stabilize it. We finally arrived and this is amazing. Yes, you can take off your shoes. This beach is beautiful. Henderson Beach State Park in Destin, Florida. It is beautiful here. One thing we love to do is have breakfast outside. So when we're not traveling and we finally get set up, a little messy this morning, but we really enjoy these mornings together and before it gets hot. <laughs> it's nice to be out in nature and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And this is where all the hard work and effort pays off. This beach is amazing. days on this beautiful beach for $174 including tax. Not bad. That is one of the reasons we love camping. Places you can go, the experiences you can have, and affordable for a family as big as ours. So one of the fun things about state parks is they have a junior rangers program. Hey Ava, show your binder so here in florida they gave them each oh an activity folder that's how on a folder and you have oh. to complete a certain amount of um activities and you get a badge or a pin we've done it a couple times at the state parks in texas and this is our first time in florida 
and they take them through a whole ceremony inside. That's where we're headed right now. They, okay. two of my kids finished their junior rangers. Okay. Thing. So do they turn them in here? Uh, yes. Just a minute, because I'm still learning that. Logo, we're missing. I've got another one we're for just you. Missing. Who, 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 who do you have? All right. So push it down and kind of, kind of do like a rolling motion. I got in here for and you just do like one good time and then try and get as centered as possible and then do the same thing. Push down to a rolling motion. And we'll start with the first one here. Stamp it in your passport. And that one's pretty good. Yeah, you just gotta you know, mash that pretty good and then roll it around. Right? There you go. And you, you can use a different one and you'll have to use the same one for each one. So now that was the, the natural resource. Can you guys tell me what a natural resource would be? Um, plants? That is part of it, but natural resource is usually like a, a large combination. So I would say like the beach is considered a natural resource. So that is you know, water. Exactly. That's, that is counted as a natural resource. And like the beach, it includes all the different like, plants and animals. Like we've got a sea oak. The sea oak, so there's a certain endangered plant in the park. The seam growing up like a long stalk, so it looks like oatmeal growing on there. <laughs> and you got two more to go here. Go through the water. Uh, the, I, that sounds like I want to say needlefish. Uh, we have a bunch of small fish. And they, they, when they're small, they school together, but as they get big, they're you know, like this small. We're going to put up a right hand. All right, no. As a junior ranger, I promise to protect the plants, animals, Water, geological features, culture, and history. Good job, guys. Here we are walking the nature trail to the boardwalk, to the beach. It's pretty awesome. The trail is shaded and the boardwalk is cool. I'll do a video of that in a moment, but we're really loving our time here at Henderson Beach State Park. It's hard to beat for $30 a night camping right on the beach. We love it. It's about like a five minute walk to the beach, but as you can see, it's this pretty nature trail and I'll do, I'll include the boardwalk in just a moment. Here's the beginning of the boardwalk. They just redid it this year, but this takes you all the way to the beach on the Emerald Coast. It's beautiful. The water is just amazing. Green and blue and clear. The sand is white and it squeaks when you walk on it because it's tiny little pieces of quartz. But it's just an amazing beach. Here's the end of the boardwalk. Just beautiful. Pretty private beach compared to the condos over on the left. It gets really full over there and the resorts over on the right. This area is a private beach just for the campground. So it's a very family friendly. It's been very enjoyable. Super fun family adventure. Oh, wow. That's a lot. This is how many clawfish squads I got. Look at them all. I think they're sand fleas or sand crabs. I call them, I call them claw mud bugs okay. because they live in the mud. What about Because they blow in the mud. Are those clams or oh, snails or what? These they feed on clams, so I'm giving them something to eat.
Okay guys, it's time to pack up and head home. We had a beautiful evening on the beach. Now it's time to load up our wagon. What well, we I loaded before our walk. Of, of mud bugs. And head on back out the boardwalk. One thing we like to do whenever we go to state parks is go on the nature trails. So we hadn't made it to the trail here at Henderson Beach because obviously the beach has been taking more of the priority. But this morning, this is our last day here, we decided to get up early because it's been really hot and go see the trail. It's also a playground they want to play on at the end. Here we have a sign. Henderson Beach State Park Nature Trail. So usually it will tell a little bit about kind of the type of things you'll find on the trail, the type of plants, animals, a little bit of interesting history. That building we see when we were coming up, look for remnants of a US Air Force radar facility. It was installed in 1951 to provide national security programs and rocketry testing programs. So that's what that building is. That's interesting, a remnant from the 1950s rocket testing program. They apparently would just shoot rockets into the ocean. So this is a very sandy nature trail. I've never been at a state park with a nature trail quite like this. <laughs> Sand gets stuck in your toes as you walk. Eliana, are you collecting nature specimens? This is oh an my. ant I collected. You made him a home. Oh my, the, we'll, we'll have to put him back on our way back, okay? I know. I always like put part of the environment I find him in, so it makes him feel comfortable and quite like home. Nice. This trail is interesting because right on the other side of all of this foliage is a main busy road and Walmart and um, all kinds of stores and restaurants but on the other side of all these bushes you have this beautiful state park. Look at that little bridge. So you definitely wouldn't want to come later in the day. It's already pretty hot. But I'm glad we came. Here's the little park. There's a sea turtle you can climb on. That's fun. Guys, ready to head out? Hey, we're well, going to run some equipment. So, we have to use the so, all good things must come to an end. Today, we are packing up and heading back out, going back home. We're only going to make one stop on the way home. We're usually anxious to get back home. So, we'll drive five hours today and six hours tomorrow, which is a little more than we like to drive, but it's just the way it worked out so we'll get up early tomorrow morning and head out so i'm about to take the lights down we're bringing in all of our chairs loading everything up and we'll hit the road and head back to mississippi
here we are pulling out, saying goodbye to this beautiful spot and the beautiful beach. Sad to say goodbye, sad to leave the beach. Hopefully we will be able to book our next adventure on our drive home.